desperate cries for help amid crashing waves. Grab the rope! Grab the rope! Do it! Another perilous crossing to Europe looks like it could end in tragedy. The night before, in these same waters, four children died. But one by one, the migrants are plucked from the sea. Exhausted, terrified, a final summoning of strength will haul him to safety. Relax, you're safe, he says. Some of these rescuers are British, working for a team based in Malta. We just received a call from the bridge that um, they received a telephone call of a possible dinghy or small craft in the water with 40 persons on board. And soon the boat is spotted. Panic turns to relief as they realize help is at hand. These families are thought to have sailed from Turkey and are trying to reach the Greek island of Agathonisi. They are nearly there, a journey they hoped would bring a better life. Many say they were driven out of their homeland by war. Inside the boat, weary but warm, they are checked by medics. The exhaustion is clear. Some treatment is basic but effective. Incredibly, some have attempted this journey not once but twice before, including an English teacher from Syria. We tried this for th three times uh, to, uh, to travel to Greek, but we have a very uh, uh, bad experience in the sea and we save from death two time. Their future may be uncertain, but for now, they are safe. Nick Beek, BBC News.